Hey everyone, how's it hanging? Consider this your very first wellness check to see how you're doing since the update. I personally lost my brains, guys. I lost my mind, my soul left my body. I levitated. I've gotta say, this has probably been the best thing to happen to the Animal Crossing community. I feel like Nintendo knew exactly what to do to revitalize everyone as an Animal Crossing player, whether you've been playing since the beginning or you kind of dropped it off. No judgment here. I'm very happy to see everybody coming back and everybody excited about the game again. Twitter has been completely abuzz about what's to come and all of the items that we've seen in the trailer, which is very exciting, but I also kind of wanted to talk about the speculations and the spicy stuff that we don't really 100% know, but we've been kind of talking about here and there. But before we get started, I did want to ask you guys a little bit of a question that might be slightly controversial maybe not too controversial but that is whether or not this is going to be the very last paid dlc now in the direct we did see them talk about this being the last free big update and so that kind of made us think that maybe this would be the last update in general i don't know personally i don't think that that's going to be the case in fact I think that this won't even be the last free update in general. I think maybe we will be getting some bug fixes, maybe a couple of items here and there for the holidays, but most likely in like a, a little blog post or something. As far as the paid DLC goes, I think we will be getting more items to come and just more things that would be paid DLC. Personally, I think that anything that entices the creators of the game or the developers of the game would be great. And if they can continue to support it in the same way that they do Pocket Camp, I would be very open to it. But I would love to know whether you disagree or agree with this statement. Honestly, I'm open to discussion here in the comment section. This is a mature place. You know, we could all agree to disagree. Now to begin with the top five speculations around the Animal Crossing Direct update. Let's start number five, which is changing the color of our cliffs. Now, this is something that I honestly kind of think that might not be happening, but we did see some new different cliff colors and you never know, maybe that would be a hidden part of the construction pack that we're gonna be getting from the Nook Stop, but it'd be really cool if we could change the color of our cliffs. We did see that there is a different color of cliff within the Mystery Islands after you set out with Cap'n, and we did also see in the Happy Home Paradise too, so I don't know. It would be really cool if we got to change the color of our cliffs, especially considering the fact that our current cliffs kind of look like raw chicken. I don't really mind the color of the cliffs, but sometimes, yeah, it would be nice to have like more of a subtle color, something a little bit more muted. And uh, what do you guys think about that? Do you think we'll be able to change the color of our cliffs? Is that something that you would be happy to see in the update? At number four, we have strawberries and rice. Now, when they finally showed the farming stuff, I lost my brains. The farming and the cooking in general, I wanna really talk about and emphasize in this because they showed us carrots, potatoes, wheat. I kind of added the rice thing in because, uh, spoiler alert for the next few seconds, we kind of saw it in the data mine, so that's a little bit more obvious, but the strawberries, we saw these strawberry jam items, or they kind of look like strawberry to me, and a couple of more items that look like they might be using strawberries, so I wouldn't be surprised if they did add strawberries to the list of the vegetables that we're getting, or like the crops because in the direct they talked about having carrots potatoes wheat plants other things and more so they did kind of leave it open-ended to more crops coming and they didn't really show us everything so i think it'd be really cool if they added the strawberries in there i think that nintendo really listened in this update so i wouldn't be surprised if they did decide to add the strawberries i mean we've all kind of been having strawberry gardens in our beaches and just in other parts of our islands in general just everywhere we've been wanting strawberries and i think it would just make sense considering the jam jar. It looks like strawberries, guys. I'm sorry. What do you think? And at number three, we have Sasha's gender. Now, I will say this. No matter what package Sasha comes in, they will be loved. I remember when I first laid my eyes on Sasha, my heart immediately melted. I love that little character, that little bunny. I saw this post circulating on my Discord that I think came from the Japanese website, but apparently Sasha's actually a boy. And 
I don't know. For me, I think the only thing that I'm kind of excited to see is what their personality might be because I love just having different personalities on my island. I think it kind of gives me a little bit of a, di a diversity to the dialogue. Do you think that Sasha will be a jock villager, maybe a lazy? And number two, can we enter the cave? Now, when I first saw this cave in the direct, my mind was blown. I have been asking for a cave for the longest time. Probably not a cave to enter, maybe just a cave to add onto those raw chicken looking cliffs. In my chat, people started to speculate about whether or not you can enter the cave. And I I guess my mind first went to no, I don't I don't think so. It just looks like an item that you can place down, you know, play around with, decorate with. However, upon further inspection, I noticed that when the angle changed on the cliff, it looked a little bit on the deeper side. But I could see the cave being some sort of transporting device similar to the pipe which in my opinion would be amazing. I mean, we kind of made do with the pipe since it does help us get around different areas, even like spawning into areas that are a little bit harder to get into on our islands or not not possible to get into at all but the cave would definitely match a lot of themes i think just picture putting the cave in front of a cliff and then having it in the back of a cliff kind of like we've been walking through the entire thing i don't know i think that'd be really fun and number one in my heart of hearts since i am a decorator i know this might not be as exciting for those of you guys that maybe don't decorate as much but maybe it will be and that is are we getting all of the new leaf furniture sets? Cause like technically they've shown us the Rococo sets. They shown us the froggy chair. They showed us a windmill. Well, they I think they showed us the windmill and it was also in the list of items. But I mean, this makes way for the possibility of having all of the old newly furniture sets from past games that we all know and love into Happy Home Paradise with the ability of bringing that back onto our islands. And that to me is just incredible because i am so attached to a lot of the furniture sets and i think one of the things that i really missed about animal crossing are the furniture sets i did see a lot of these items in wild world and it would also be really nice to see the public works projects inserted into that which we have also kind of seen within some of the items and maybe the flower clock or the cupid bench the sprout table and that my friends are the top five speculations that i have been seeing on twitter in my comment sections within the community i'm really excited about all of them and the possibility of them but if you have any speculations please let me know down below because i am dying to talk about this game until november 5th if you enjoyed this video and would love to see more from me don't forget forget to hit the subscribe button and also hit the little bell to be notified for whenever I post. I also stream this game on YouTube and part-time on Twitch, so you could also join me on Twitch if you like. It's at it's Diana Daisies. I'm excited to talk more in the comment section, so I will see you there and in the next video. Bye!